Okay, chapters 1 through 9 in Leviticus. They talk all about the different nuances of sacrifice. This is a picture of what the Messiah did and does for us and what we do for him. This idea of our responsibility in this relationship is reiterated in story. The story of Aharon losing his sons. Look, this day they have offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before Yah, and such things have befallen me, speaking of him losing his sons. Aharon had been following Yah at this point for many months, possibly even years. At the point of him losing his sons, he had given up just about everything? Maybe. Maybe. Yah takes his sons from him. You see, then Nabad and Abihu, the sons of Aharon, each took his censer and put fire in it, put incense on it, and offered profane fire before Yah, which he had not commanded them. So fire went out from Yah and devoured them, and they died before Yah. That's a pretty big sacrifice. He also takes away his emotional response to it. Maybe an even bigger sacrifice. Then Moses said to Aharon, This is what Yah spoke, saying, By those who come near me, I must be regarded as holy. And before all the people, I must be glorified. So Aharon held his peace. And Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uzziel, the uncle of Aharon, and said to them, Come near, carry your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them by their tunics out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said to Aharon and to Eleazar and Ithamar his sons, Do not uncover your heads, nor tear your clothes, lest you die, and wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning, which Yah has kindled. You shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of meeting, lest you die. For the anointing oil of Yah is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moses. Did Aharon spend the time angry with God, railing accusations in his heart and mind against the Holy One? It's hard to tell, but I don't believe he did. His living long beyond this event, while holding his high position with honor, is a testimony that he most likely did not. Instead, it could be that he submitted himself to God fully, completely, even unto the sacrificing of what he believed was his very self. Instead, he found out how it was just that both his children were taken and his response to his children's being killed was taken. Aharon was a man of God who served God and man and kept Yah's command in both deed and in his heart. The things that he did way back then are serving us right here, right now. If we could sacrifice even unto what we believe is our very selves, not for the economy, not for the government, not for the betterment of the human race as a whole, sure, we should be sacrificing some for those reasons. But first, we seek the kingdom of God. And all of these shall be added unto us. Yeshua bless you and his light shine for you and from you. Hallelujah.